one piece that I really um, want teachers to get out of the book is as students are doing these daily routines and you learn about their thinking over time and you really listen to their conversations and understand where they are in their number sense journey and uh, where to help take them. Another important piece, and there are some examples in the book, are to the more that you know about number sense and you know about their learning, you really watch for that application of number sense during your main lesson or dur while they're solving problems. And uh, sometimes students have difficulty linking some of the number sense and when it's in a more formal uh, computational setting um, where numbers aren't embedded in a, in a story problem, um, they may revert to other procedures that they think they're supposed to do. And so helping them make that link with, well, this is what you did yesterday during our number sense routine. Um, let's see how, how can you use that idea in this problem today? And so helping them make that connection to applying their number sense in, in different parts of the mathematics lessons. I think that building a mathematical community of learners is really essential to the routine. So the, the last part of the book gives some tips and strategies for setting up an environment where mistakes are okay, not only okay, but mistakes are an opportunity for learning. Um, setting up an environment where students feel free to discuss and debate those mathematical ideas, um, where math talk is really a, a big part of the routine. That's where students really dive in and, and understand the mathematics more deeply. And I have one example of a student who, um, sh she's actually in the book, I wrote about her. She, at the beginning of the year when, I, when she first came to my classroom, she was really reluctant to participate in mathematics discussions. And she only participated if she was absolutely certain she had the correct solution or answer. And. Uh, as the year went on, you could see that she was getting more and more comfortable with participating in in the discussions, but she was still she still had that reluctance. And there was a turning point one day um, where I had asked her what she I think it was a counting routine, and I had asked her, well, what do you notice about the pattern so far? Um, understanding that she is reluctant when it comes to solutions, so trying to get her into the process more than the solution. And you could see that reluctance really crept in. And one of the students recognized it, and she said to her, um, it's okay, go ahead and tell us what you see, and we'll add on to your idea. And so that was a turning point for this student because she could see that she had that support from her peers, that it was okay to go ahead and talk about ideas that weren't fully formed yet because in a, in a mathematical community of learners, um, ideas aren't fully formed. We don't know all the answers yet. We're looking for patterns. We're looking for relationships. And I think that's, that's really going to take the routines from one level to a new level um, when students really get to that point where they can take risks and uh, jump in and ask questions or say, I got this answer and it's different from everybody else's. What is going on? Let's look at the process and see, see what we can figure out. And when it comes from the students, that's even more powerful. They really learn to support each other's different learning paths.